What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today we're going to be covering save states and save retrieves on your retro pie. How do you save your game progress? How do you continue from where you left off? What are the extra numbers on there? There's a lot of stuff out there on the internet that is very complicated, especially when it comes to retro pie, and I'm your source for making it simple. We're going to keep it short, simple, and to the point, like always. You're playing Zelda, you're playing Mario, you want to continue right where you left off when you start. Not from a save state within the game, but from where you left off. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I'm going to show you how to retrieve it. I'm going to show you how if other people are in your household, your girlfriend, your wife, your boyfriend, your brother, your whatever, whatever, I'm going to show you exactly how they can have their very own safe state throughout various games as well. So let's get started. Okay guys, you're just simply going to scroll through, find a game you want to play. I'm just going to go to my favorites. I have a few games loaded in favorites. I'm going to start Super Mario Brothers. We'll take it back to the classics. Also, I'm hoping that it's not going to be too much of a glare. We're in the process of getting ready to move, so I don't have my system linked directly through the computer so I can capture crystal clear images. So we're going to start Super Mario Brothers, going to select my one player. Do -do 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 -do. All right, so once you're playing your game, simply get to the point of where you want to be. So I'm going to show you something here and you're not continuing at a slave slot. You're continuing right where you left off. So on my controller, my hotkey is going to be the select button. When you go through your con controller configuration, I'll put a link in the description so you can watch that video. And also I'll link to it at the end to show you how to configure your, your controller. But it's very important on which you set your hotkey up for. You're, you're gonna use your hotkey for so many different options to also back out of the game. If you wanna back out of a game that's in progress, it's simply, since I set my hotkey for select, select and start will back me out. So in this case, my hotkey is select. So I'm gonna hit select and right bumper at the same time. Now you probably didn't see it, but at the very bottom left of the screen, I'll do it one more time, I'll capture it. It says save state to slot zero. So I have everything set for slot zero. I don't know, there's so many slots. I mean, I, I took it all the way up to 80 slots. So there's so many different slots you can actually save to. I save everything on slot zero, all the different games. So if I'm playing Mario one, I'll save it to slot zero. If I'm playing Mario two, it's on slot zero. Mario three, it's on slot zero. And it's gonna remember your respective position for each of those games on those particular slots. Now, when you're ready to let someone else play and you don't want them to overwrite your game, just simply create a new slot for them. Put them on slot one or slot two and I'll show you how to change that as well. So now that my game saved and you see where I'm standing at here, I, I don't remember what the clock time was, we're now going to go ahead and retrieve that save slot. So let's just even back out of this. Let's just go back. We're out of the game. Let's say you restarted your system, you turned it back on. I'm gonna go ahead and restart Mario. Simply just gonna go into the game. I hit start just to start the game. We know select and right bumper was the option to save the game, so how do you retrieve it? In order to retrieve it, once again, it's important to know what your hotkey is. In my particular case, once again, the hotkey is select. So I'm just gonna hit select and X at the same time. It's gonna bring up your quick menu. You may have a different option depending on your configuration on how to get to your quick menu. So this is how you're gonna load your game. You're just simply gonna go to your quick menu. Once you're at this screen, you're just gonna go ahead and press A to select quick menu. And now you're just simply gonna scroll down to load state. And that's gonna continue where we left off when we were standing up on top of the block and we were the bigger size Mario. So load state, voila. The time frame was at 210, we're right back up there. And you can do this on as many games as you like. For instance, I'm gonna go ahead and back out, select and start at the same time. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to Mario Brothers 2. Just to show you, you do not have to change that save slot. I don't recommend changing a save slot. It's gonna get very confusing. Pick a save slot. I leave it on zero by default for myself. My wife and I both play the same game, so she uses the same slot. She doesn't override mine. We basically play at the same time. So if you have someone else, a brother, sister, cousin, whatever, and they wanna play, just pick a different save slot for those guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this game. I'm gonna pick Mario. I normally always play with the princess. Who doesn't on Mario 2? Glide around. It's kinda of like a cheat throughout the game. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and take Mario. Yeah, we're gonna go all the way down here. Go inside the first door. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump on one of these guys, pick them up. How about that? And this is what I'll do. I'm on top of this guy. Now I'm gonna save. Select and right bumper. So that game saved. So now I'm gonna just back out of the game. And just to show you, I'm gonna start Mario Brothers 2 back up again. And I'm still on slot zero. I'm gonna pick Luigi. And 
All right, Luigi's dropping it like it's hot. We're now we're gonna pull up that save state. So select and X at the same time. We're gonna go into quick menu. Then we're gonna go down to load state. So from load state, there you go. Mario's still on top there. And to show you the difference on me still being on slot zero, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this game. And I'm gonna go back to Mario Brothers. And remember, we were the larger Mario at the top of the box there, and I think the time frame was 210. I'm gonna go ahead and start the game. Once again, I am still on slot zero. You'll see so many different videos where folks say change the slot. Don't do that, it's gonna cause so much confusion because for each game, if you have a system with 14,000 games, you're gonna to have to remember what each slot was. Just pick a slot, pick a number, your favorite number, and stick to that slot. So let's go ahead, select the next, quick menu, then we're gonna go down to load state, and look, I'm still on top, same slot, didn't change it. So for your records, let's go into the quick menu so I can explain the save slots. Okay, under load state, it's loading the state for slot zero. Under slot zero, this is where you can change it. So by default, I'm slot zero. Let's say your mom plays. She wants to be on slot one. Your dad wants to be on slot two. Your uncle, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, your grandmother, your grandfather, your great grandmother, your great grandfather. Each person should have their own save slot. And whatever you save on that particular slot, let's just use, keep it simple. I'm gonna use save slot one, for example. And now I'm gonna go ahead and resume. So let's go ahead and take Mario here and we'll just put him on top of, we'll put him right here. And the time frame is 168. So I'm gonna go, well, it's gonna, by the time I hit it, it's gonna be a little bit less, but we're gonna go ahead and save it. Now it's saved to save slot one. So let's go ahead and move Mario, get him over here. We'll get them right to the edge. And now let's continue from that save slot one. So we're gonna hit select an X and we're gonna go ahead and load state. And see, now we're back on the pipe there. Now let's switch back to Dave's game. Select an X, we're gonna go to save slot. And now we're gonna go back down to load state and I'm back up top. I wanna keep this very quick simple as I explained. Hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave me a comment. I'll be sure to get back with you. Just like that guys, that's how you save. Well, I hope that helped you guys out there. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Key thing is subscribe. We got a lot of cool things coming your way. More on RetroPie, more on Cody, more on amazing 3D print. Also, if you're a fan of Funko, make sure you check out our other channel at Mad Funko. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave signing out. Till next time. Peace.